You feel what I'm saying? So it's like a Jay-Z, right? Actually, no, let's, let's go to NBA. I was listening to Kyrie talk about this months ago. I don't know if you guys heard it. Like He was saying all the players should come together and start their own league. Yeah. The networks, everybody would pay. And he's genius for that. Like, Of course the networks are going to give you deals because you guys are starting your own league. Um, in terms of management, et cetera, et cetera, they would have to figure out the, the, the roadmap to that. But basically he was saying that. And of course the media made him look crazy. Kyrie's on drugs or something's wrong with him. He's having problems and issues. Like, And now, today, like it happened a couple weeks ago, Draymond just said, um, Andre Drummond, the, the the franchise basically sidelined him and said they're going to trade him, so they're not playing him until they, they successfully trade him. And then Draymond said, like, it's so funny when the management wants to put us on the bench and tell us they're trading us, no problem. Media doesn't say nothing. It's business. If the player now wants to empower himself and say, yo, I want to move, go to another team, the player's crazy. And he's like, yo, it's just a double standard. My guy, you got to realize, though, these guys signed the fucking checks, unfortunately. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you could complain, but if you're not about to go and be a boss and start your own league, like, figure it out. You guys aren't really trying to empower the next generation to me. Like, these guys, like the, the NBA players, the football players, like, if you guys aren't out here trying to create more guys that have ideas, starting our own banks, I think you're just complaining. You sound like babies to me, in my opinion. Like, no, just listening to it, I don't know. 100%, bro. I, I totally agree with that. And it's funny because today, like today, I found out uh, a valuable piece of information. <laughs> uh, we, were, we were at a meeting um, earlier, and the gentleman said that, like, the East, um, East Asian, like, Indian communities, they, like, they plug in with one another when it comes to deals, like, selling a Wendy's or you know, a franchise amongst themselves. They make money amongst themselves on purpose because they have that intention to keep Facts. the wealth within their community. Right. Where's our platform for that? Brother, we're, something is in the works. <laughs> yeah, 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 works, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? in the works, right? I hear you, I hear you. But you know what I mean? I feel like we don't have a place where um, we can make it accessible for people to get the it should be like a factory. 100%. Because, yo, success leaves clues. Facts. You can literally rinse, recycle, and whatever that phrase is, you repeat. Right. You know what I mean? You can literally take someone, put them through a blueprint, and help them become a millionaire. Right. There are so many ways to do it. So many. But we're not... I don't know. I don't know. I really I think don't it know. goes back to what we were talking about initially, <laughs> which is the competitive spirit that we have against each other, and the, the ideology that... You don't you don't want to see somebody like be over you like you want to be the big dog right. in the room at all times, which is crazy. Do you feel like that's changing though a little bit? Yeah, our I think so. I think so. I, 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 I feel it too, though. You know what I mean? Like, I don't. I'm not saying we're not competitive, but there's a different nature behind it. Like a man will put you on game. He'll be like, yo, show, sure. yo, this is my supplier. Da da da. Yo, if you need a build something, you know what I mean? They'll they'll talk to you and try to help you out. Yeah. Back, I, I feel like my parents' generation, it was more that cutthroat, like, nah, like, I need bread from my family now, and you doing what I'm doing, you're going to be me. Right, right, and you're, gonna, you're, cutting, you're cutting into that. Yeah. I think the reason why we do that now is, one, the greatest, save, the greatest savings account you could possibly have is the environment that you're in. Mm -hmm. So if you want to make money and you want to make money for a long time, you got to make sure all your friends make money. 100%. I mean, I rock, <laughs> that's I rock that's the that. greatest way that. because if you're 100%. ever down, you put your friend on, hey, I'm going to need you to do a woo, woo, woo. We make money together. Right. That's the greatest savings account you'll have is your association. That's and I, and I, I think it's very important that you build that round table. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, So you have to have a team and then you, you let everybody know on your team, like, look, I'm going to take care of you, bro. Like, this is not about just me. This is about me empowering you. And this is where we're talking about the visionary part of it comes in because it's like, my thought process is not about the right now, it's about the future. Sure, right. And anybody that has that kind of spirit, as you were saying earlier, that drive, it can't be taught. It's no. something you just have, which is selfless, and you want to help others and empower others to build that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And you have that network, that group around you. But I just don't understand how some of these guys are complaining, and they're not out here, and don't get me wrong, maybe they're doing it behind the scenes, we don't know, but 
I don't see a lot of duplication to what you're saying, where that blueprint comes out, and we're seeing more of a, of, of a certain type of thing. You know what I mean? 100%. They, they, like, they're, they're, sorry to cut you off, Junior, but there, there was um, um, there was an article, and it was talking about one of the most wealthiest real estate investors, black gentleman he's in North America. I think he's in Atlanta. Don't quote me on it. But this man's been making bread for years. I'm talking like... He got his real estate license in the 80s and he's killing it. Damn. But it's like, oh, why, why don't you have, I, I forget, it was, it was an Instagram post. Uh -huh. And I'm like, why like, why doesn't this dude have an academy where you can literally, like, you clearly have a system that works. You can't, you can't, you can't show other people how to do it too. Not to say he wasn't, I'm not sure, but I, like, I'm just saying like the fact is that there's so many people who have made so much success for themselves uh -huh. within our community. And I feel like they're not really doing their part in terms of legacy by teaching other people to do the same. Now, everyone has their own mission and their own reasons. I'm not going to hate on someone but, because they don't want to share gems. Yeah. But what you do for yourself dies when you die. But what you do for others lives on. That's a good point. You know what I mean? So it's like, why not? Just like, how would you feel? You know, like, on your deathbed, you help make 10 millionaires. That's my legacy that I want. That's the legacy I want. You know what I mean?